Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand some examples on arrays and increment operators. And this example, using this example, we will try to understand the concepts of arrays and increment operators. And this example looks very simple. But while uh, while solving this, uh, while solving the solution for this in exams, like placement exams or gate exams, then uh, then we there is a chance for us to put the wrong answer. And uh, why why because and all those concepts we will discuss in this class. So here uh, we have created three variables. The variables are x, y, z. So x, y, and z. And we have created an array of five elements, which is of integer types. Uh, the elements are of integer types. And the elements are 1, 2, 3, 25, 20, uh, 25, 7. So this is the array A. This is an array A. And now we are trying to pre-increment a of 1 pre-increment a of 1 so the very important point that you have to understand is the pre-increment is having highest precedence when compared with post increment uh, post increment so if you closely observe the uh, precedence table precedence table please go through that precedence table the first row contains the pre-increment and the second row contains the post increment okay so the pre-increment is having highest precedence and both of them are having the same precedence and uh, the associativity is from left to right so a of 1 so plus plus of a of 1 a of 1 is 2 now the value of 2 will get incremented uh, a of 1 will get incremented and the value becomes 3 so what happens in a of 1 so now this 2 will get incremented and it will become 3 okay so now uh, uh, x is equal to 3 so the value after incrementing it will get stored in 3 so the value of x is equal to 3 the next one is y is equal to a of 1 plus plus usually usually what we will do is so what is the value stored in a of 1 it is 3 and we will increment it and we will assign it to y but uh, so that is the that is the main difference between pre increment and post increment so what happens is the value will be as it is uh, the value will be taken as it is and it will be assigned to and it is having highest precedence so uh, it will get assigned to y so what is the value stored in a of 1 it is 3 so 3 will get assigned to y so the value of uh, y is equal to 3 okay and then the things will get incremented and then the incre uh, the incrementation is done in the next step wherever we use a of 1 then the value is not going to be 3 it is going to be 4 okay so uh, now a of 1 will get incremented so 3 will become 4 but but as it is post increment this value will get assigned to y later the incrementation will happen this is where the things will go wrong this is one of the step where uh, we will usually in hurry we will think that this is going to be incremented this will get incremented and that value will get assigned to y no first the value will get assigned and later uh, the incrementation is done in the next step of execution whenever a of 1 is used then that value is used so try to understand that point okay so now this is one more step where we will get confused so x plus plus and uh, here the value of x is 3 okay so what is the uh, sorry value of x is 4 value of x is sorry 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 the value of x is so a of 3 a of 3 and uh, this one will get incremented but first because it is post increment we are going to use a of 3 and it will get incremented uh, and the x will change we are going to use a of 3 what is the value of a of 3 it is 25 25 will get stored in z so the value 25 will get stored in z now the x will get incremented first 3 will get uh, 3 is used and later this will get incremented whenever x is used in the later step then we are going to use 4 so this one will get incremented so the value of x is now 4 try to understand that point x post increment x plus plus means we are going to use first use the value of x and then incrementation first the use the value of x means 3 a of 3 is 25 and the x value will get incremented x value incremented means the value of x is 4 
so these are the two steps where we will usually make the mistakes okay and now the value of z is uh, a of 3 which is 25 so what is the what is the value that will get printed it is uh, uh, x is equal to 4 will get printed y is equal to 3 and z is equal to 25 okay this is the final output let's try to execute this and see whether we are getting the same output or not so uh, to better avoid the confusion so this is the same example that we have taken in our compiler uh, same example uh, okay execute see here 4 3 25 the value of x is 4 value of y is 3 and the value of z is 25 okay so hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching